Picture this, a sepia-toned world where glamour and grace reigned supreme, and the silver screen was the portal to enchanting adventures. In the midst of this celluloid reverie, one name resonated with the hearts of many, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of Hollywood history, Maureen O'Sullivan. Maureen O'Sullivan, a name that could effortlessly transport you to the golden age of cinema, was a true luminary of her time. As you delve into the archives of your own memories, you might recall that moment when her image graced your television screen or flickered to life in a classic movie theater. Perhaps it was her captivating presence in Tarzan the Ape Man that first captured your attention, or maybe it was her role as Jane Parker that left an imprint on your cinematic soul. But Maureen O'Sullivan was more than just a pretty face on celluloid. Beyond her acting prowess, there are intriguing facets of her life that deserve a spotlight. Did you know that she was born in Ireland and later journeyed across the Atlantic to conquer the silver screen? Or that her career spanned over six decades, showcasing her versatility as an actress? These are the fascinating tidbits that await you as we explore the life and legacy of Maureen O'Sullivan. So, dear reader, prepare to be transported to a bygone era of Hollywood enchantment as we unravel the tapestry of Maureen O'Sullivan's life and career. And perhaps along the way, you will uncover even more cherished memories of this remarkable actress. Remarkable actress. Remarkable actress. Maureen O'Sullivan, known for her Irish heritage, carved a notable career in Hollywood. She had some English and Scottish ancestry as well. At MGM, O'Sullivan captured the attention of Irving Thalberg and Louis B. Mayer. They had grand plans for her as a rising star. However, Thalberg's untimely death from pneumonia in 1936 stalled her ascent. She found herself cast in romantic interest roles, rather than the leading roles she was poised for. Apart from her career, Maureen O'Sullivan was the mother of a large brood, including Michael, Patrick, John Charles, Mia, Tisa, Prudence, and Stephanie Farrow. Her journey in Hollywood was marked by promise and setbacks, a story that showcases the unpredictability of the entertainment industry. In May 1934, Maureen O'Sullivan found herself under police protection due to reported kidnapping threats. This incident sheds light on the actress' fame and the challenges it brought. O'Sullivan was best known for her role as Jane in the Tarzan series, opposite Johnny Weissmuller. Her popularity made her a potential target, requiring law enforcement intervention to ensure her safety. Furthermore, O'Sullivan was part of an illustrious circle of friends in Hollywood. Her companions included Maureen O'Hara, Vivian Lee, Betty Furness, Robert Ryan, Johnny Weissmuller, and Mr. and Mrs. Lyndon B. Johnson. This list reflects her social prominence and the respect she garnered within the entertainment industry. In a unique twist, Maureen O'Sullivan played the role of Mia Farrow's mother in the film Hannah and Her Sisters, which was notable for the fact that Mia Farrow is her real-life daughter. This mother-daughter portrayal added a personal dimension to O'Sullivan's extensive acting career. Maureen O'Sullivan's life and career were marked by her enduring fame influential friendships, and the intriguing on-screen connection with her own daughter, Mia Farrow. Her story is a compelling chapter in Hollywood history. Maureen O'Sullivan, a prominent actress of her time, had a notable connection with Paramount Pictures. In 1948, the studio insisted that she undergo a screen test for a film titled The Big Clock, which happened to be directed by her husband, John Farrow. This request showcased the professional and personal intertwining of their careers in the world of Hollywood. Additionally, O'Sullivan held a unique distinction related to the film Just Imagine from 1930. She was one of only two credited cast members, along with Joyzelle Joyner, who were still alive in 1980. Remarkably, this was the same year in which the film was set. Her longevity, in this case, mirrored the fictional futuristic world portrayed in the movie. Furthermore, it's worth noting that Maureen O'Sullivan first met her future husband, John Farrow, during the making of Just Imagine in 1930. At that time, Farrow was working as a writer on the Fox lot, and their initial encounter eventually led to a romantic connection that would shape both their personal and professional lives. In conclusion, Maureen O'Sullivan's Hollywood career was marked by interesting connections with Paramount Pictures, a unique distinction related to Just Imagine, and a fateful meeting with her future husband, John Farrow, during a film project. 
These facts shed light on the intriguing aspects of her life and career in the entertainment industry. But industry, but industry, but Maureen O'Sullivan, a renowned actress, had a complex and multifaceted relationship with some of her film experiences that stretched beyond the silver screen. One notable instance that serves as a vivid illustration of this complexity was her strong dislike for working with the chimpanzee named Cheetah during the filming of the Tarzan movies at MGM. While to the world, these films were iconic and beloved, Maureen's behind-the-scenes experience was far from glamorous. According to her daughter, Mia Farrow, O'Sullivan privately referred to the primate as that ape son of a bitch. This candid expression of frustration highlights the challenges actors sometimes face, even when portraying iconic characters. It's a reminder that the glitz and glamour of Hollywood often conceal the less glamorous aspects of the industry. Maureen's experience with Cheetah was a testament to the demanding and unpredictable nature of her craft. Despite the fame and success she achieved in her career, Maureen O'Sullivan's candid feelings about certain work experiences remind us of the human side of Hollywood, where emotions, conflicts, and personal connections often intertwine with the art of storytelling. It's a stark contrast to the polished image of Hollywood, showing that even the brightest stars have their moments of struggle and frustration. In the end, Maureen O'Sullivan's legacy goes beyond the characters she portrayed on screen. It's a testament to the resilience and authenticity of actors who navigate the highs and lows of their profession, offering us a glimpse into the real human stories behind the silver screen. This is the untold story of Maureen O'Sullivan, as remembered in Den, Den, Den. Maureen O'Sullivan, the Irish-born actress, had her share of interesting facts. Among these, her connections to famous figures stand out. She was the ex-mother-in-law of not one, but three notable individuals, Frank Sinatra, Andre Previn, and Ava Roosevelt. Furthermore, O'Sullivan's early life had its unique twists. Raised in Ireland, her father, a British Army major, sent her to Roehampton, a convent school near London. The reason? Her Irish brogue had grown so thick that it needed some refinement. During her time there, she struck up a close friendship with Vivian Lee, who was two years her junior. While Lee aspired to become an actress, O'Sullivan harbored dreams of taking to the skies as an aviatrix. Perhaps one of the more amusing anecdotes involves her encounters with the legendary Clark Gable. The first time they met, Gable was disguised in old man makeup for the film Strange Interlude in 1932. He asked O'Sullivan to go horseback riding, but she declined. However, when they crossed paths again for voice over work, she realized his true age and regretted her earlier decision. Unfortunately for O'Sullivan, Gable never extended a second invitation. These intriguing tidbits add depth to Maureen O'Sullivan's life, showcasing her connections to Hollywood icons and her adventurous spirit during her formative years. Maureen O'Sullivan, often referred to as Ireland's first film star, was of Irish descent, with some English and Scottish ancestry. Born on May 17, 1911, in Boyle, County Roscommon, Ireland, Maureen O'Sullivan made a significant impact in Hollywood during her career. While there isn't substantial information to confirm the claim that she used to make Irish soda bread for Greta Garbo, her Irish heritage remained an integral part of her identity throughout her life. O'Sullivan began her acting career in the 1930s and gained widespread recognition for her role as Jane in the Tarzan film series opposite Johnny Weissmuller. She appeared in over 60 films during her career, including classics like Anna Karenina and The Thin Man. Her Irish roots were often celebrated, and she was proud of her heritage. Maureen O'Sullivan's career spanned several decades, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of cinema. She passed away on June 23, 1998, in Scottsdale, Arizona. In summary, Maureen O'Sullivan, known as Ireland's first film star, had a successful career in Hollywood, and her Irish heritage remained an important part of her life. Her contribution to cinema continues to be remembered and celebrated today. Rated today. Rated. Maureen O'Sullivan, known for her role as Jane in the Tarzan films of the 1930s, and 1940s had some intriguing connections and incidents in her life. One notable anecdote involves her first encounter with the iconic actor Clark Gable. It happened during the production of Strange Interlude in 1932. At that time, Gable was made up to appear much older than he was for his role. He extended an invitation to Maureen O'Sullivan for a horseback ride, but she declined. 
It wasn't until they met again for voice over work that she realized Gable's true age and, reportedly, regretted turning down his earlier offer. However, he never asked her out a second time. O'Sullivan's family connections were also quite interesting. She became the ex-mother-in-law of several notable individuals, including Frank Sinatra, Andre Previn, and Ava Roosevelt. These connections added an extra layer of intrigue to her personal life. In May 1934, Maureen O'Sullivan found herself in an unusual situation when she received police protection. Reports had surfaced suggesting that she was in danger of being kidnapped. The reasons behind this threat remain unclear, but it was undoubtedly a challenging and concerning time for the actress. Maureen O'Sullivan's life was far from ordinary, marked by encounters with Hollywood legends, intriguing family connections, and even moments of danger. Her story is a testament to the captivating and sometimes unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry. 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 As we bid adieu to this immersive journey through the life and artistry of Maureen O'Sullivan, I encourage you to take a moment and delve into your own personal connection with this remarkable actress. Maureen's contributions to the world of entertainment have left an indelible mark on our hearts and minds, and it's in our collective memories that her legacy truly thrives. Think back to those moments when you first encountered Maureen's captivating performances. Was it her enchanting portrayal of Jane in the Tarzan series? or perhaps her compelling role in Anna Karenina. Maybe it was her versatility that drew you in, her ability to seamlessly transition from drama to comedy, leaving you in awe of her talents. Reflect on the emotions she evoked, the stories she told, and the characters she brought to life. Share your favorite memories, the scenes that have stayed with you, and the impact she had on your appreciation for the art of acting. In doing so, we celebrate not only Maureen's body of work, but also the enduring power of storytelling and its ability to connect us across time and space. Your thoughts and memories contribute to the rich tapestry of her legacy, ensuring that her influence continues to inspire future generations. As we wrap up this moment of reflection, let us extend our deepest appreciation to Maureen O'Sullivan for her invaluable contributions to the world of entertainment. Thank you for joining us on this journey and for sharing your thoughts and memories. It is your passion and engagement that keep the magic of cinema alive. With sincere gratitude and admiration for Maureen O'Sullivan's enduring impact on our lives, our lives, our lives.